it's a tiny one slash bay sheet and we're going to be trying some more snacks from my local um, candy store. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've been wanting to do this and we're going to do it now. Uh, I actually accumulated quite a few snacks I didn't realize I did. Um, but yeah, let's start with the bottom so we can create a base for the other snacks. And I also have my water right here because quite a few of these are chocolates. Just warning. Okay, these are making sure that the uh, store name is not there. Okay, these are Mr. Stanley's Outstanding Orange Chocolate Walking Sticks. And for tasty twists of pure chocolate indulgence. Okay. Oh, this is the pack that's been open. All right. That makes it easier. So they come in. Uh, like a little four pack of snacks and they're just little sticks I've had these before so I know they're okay um it's got like an orangish zing to them which is why they're orange chocolate. <clears throat> uh oh, really good though. And as you saw, most of those were gone because we've actually had those for a while. And the rest of my roommates were just picking at them and eating them. And Enjoying them. All right, next is I have something special I want to say for last for the um, chocolates. This is um, again, this is a Mr. Stanley candy. Mr. Stanley chocolate matches with popping candy. Um, it's supposed to be superior quality and creamy white. Don't know what that means. I actually haven't opened these yet. But this oh glare. This is what it looks like. And what's cool is the side looks like a matchbook side. Or, yeah, a matchbox side. Alright. Let's open these. And if you guys want to ask me any questions, you know, like normal, just go ahead. Don't just let me talk to myself. Why well, I'm talking to myself, but you know what I mean. Okay, and then we just open them like this. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, this is so cool. I have the fan on, so I'm trying to like put papers and stuff away so it doesn't blow all over the place and scare me like before. So that's what it looks like. Actually, it looks like matchbooks or matchsticks. That's pretty cool. I'm going to hello everybody who's joined. If I can get one out, that'd be awesome. I can't. Uh, well, this one's kind of broken, but okay.
is actually really good. Um, I, oh, I dropped some in my lap. I like the um, the taste of the white chocolate and the popping candy effect that it has isn't as overpowering as I've had with some popping candies. So good products. Um, next is a smaller low candy bar. Never seen this one before, but apparently it's from Nestle. And this is the Drifter Bar. <clears throat> Let's see what these taste like. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's two in there. So there's two. So it's like you can have one and you can share, which I'm probably going to do it with uh, one of my roommates who's home. Mm, excuse me. Oh, I have the burpees. What the? <sighs> Is this supposed to be? I have no idea. Hi, Aaron. Okay, so this is I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a wafer and caramel. Okay. Like um like a whatchamacallit bar. And yes, there's a bar that's actually called whatchamacallit bar. For those who haven't seen those or eaten those. Alright. Next we have, and this is like super cool. Again, this is a Mr. Stanley um, candy. And this is the Mr. Candy, Mr. Candy, Mr. Stanley handmade milk chocolate pipe. Yes, pipe. As you can see, it's got little sprinkles on the top. This one, um, <clears throat> I've actually been wanting to cut into for a while. I need to get my Mr. Knife. One of these days, I swear, I'm going to cut myself on camera. And y'all be witnesses. I almost cut my finger now, actually. <laughs> oh, and like I've mentioned before about the band-aids and the cat scratches. I don't know if they're viewable on camera, but yeah, these two little scratches right there. Thank you, my kitty. I don't know. It's like she was supposed to, you know, when you put a cat down and they usually like hop over your arm or whatever, or they step over your arm to like balance themselves on whatever surface they're on. Well, she didn't do that. And instead her back claws just cut my arm. It's like, oh, okay, we got double covering. All right. Stop. Oh, it's got chocolate shavings that are already falling off. That's good. All right. Uh, okay. This is what it looks like. Of course, I have to get the sprinkle side. Let's see. I'm watch. This is gonna be a huge mess all over the place. Okay, it's solid chocolate. Um, when I got this, I didn't know if it was going to be solid or hollow. But yeah, I think this is solid. And then the end, I'm just having sprinkles all over the place to drop. 
Solid chocolate. That's pretty good because nowadays it seems like you buy chocolate, you know, you like chocolate bunnies or whatever, and you get hollow chocolate. You know, it's not even worth it. And it's really good, creamy milk chocolate. So I'm going to enjoy eating that a little bit by a little bit. Oh, can I not get it back in the box? That's good. Oh, I can. I just almost pinched my fingers done. Okay. Now, these next two items I want to save as my last two chocolate pieces. And you'll see why. I have two chocolate Star Wars finders keepers and on the back they have different characters that you can create I think I got like series one and series two it's a milk chocolate and a surprise so we get to make a mess opening up the eggs to find out what the characters are now for this box in particular that has Kylo Ren on it on the back it says you can get BB-8, Kylo Ren, Captain Phasma, Ray, Chewbacca, or Poe. So let's see who we get. Hello Jason. Okay, so this is the egg. Oh! Wait a minute. Is the character in the little capsule instead of in the egg? That's disappointing. I wanted to be able to crack open the egg to find out what character it is. Apparently I can't open the capsule. Oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> I'm weak. I need someone strong. Unless I can break, is there a way to break it? Oh, here we go. Ah, I broke it. Okay. Yeah, that's disappointing. They come in a little. So I got, what the hell? Oh, he's half. Okay. I got Chewbacca. At first I thought he was like sitting in a weird position, but he's just half a wookie. And then a little paper that says who I got. And then we still got the chocolate egg. Which, I'll try the chocolate egg in the other one, because I'm sure they're the same. So let's see who we get from this one. Oh my god, seriously? Okay, so, you know how this box, the first box I opened, had the little capsule... I struggled to get him out of. I didn't mean to pick you up by your head, sorry. I opened up the second box, which had Darth Vader on it. And the second box, you're supposed to be able to get Darth Vader, Yoda, Boba Fett, R2-D2, C-3PO, and a Stormtrooper. And all I do is open the box, and this is out. No capsule, no nothing, just... <laughs> it's like not worth it. I mean, 
you're going to get kids that are going to want to steal or get a particular character, and they're just going to open boxes until they find the one they want, and then they're like, oh, I'll just get this one. Uh, but anywho, I got my Boba Fett. If y'all don't know, Boba Fett's one of my favorite characters. So, at least I got him and his old man, Delorean armor. So I'll put him that right there by my speaker. And let's see what this chocolate egg is all about. <clears throat> like I said, I got another chocolate egg, so my roommate can have that one. My big roommate road, not my, not uh, the junk boy who's allergic to chocolate. And we actually found out he's allergic to, where I'm allergic to the um, uh, it's like I'm allergic to one thing when it comes to chocolate and he's actually oh, I'm allergic to the wax in chocolate and Junk Boy is allergic to the actual cocoa so okay so this is what the egg looks like I have a feeling this is hollow so so Football. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Um, that chocolate's kind of stereotypical for like chocolate. I remember for. Um, the hollow bunnies or the hollow Santa Clauses and all that stuff. But yeah, remember you guys can go ahead and ask me questions while I try not to poison myself with chocolate. Okay, next is something that's super cute. It's not chocolate, but still under the category of sweets. And poor thing is the Canadian version. South Park joke. It's this cute little ghost with a pumpkin. It boots. But yeah, his head's off. And I like how it's wrapped in this cute little red little bow. This bow, oh, it's twist ties in the back. I thought the little bow was like, oh, you can, you know, pull the ribbon and it comes up. No, it's twisty ties. And if you hear any banging or anything like that, I'm sorry about that. My roommates, uh, not my roommates, um, the neighbors upstairs, mainly the children are being particularly loud. Oh, and it's sealed too. There we go. I guess double protection. Alright. I will get your head since this is the smallest part. It's a regular little ghost now. Okay, I'll stop. Okay. It's really good. I really like sugar cookies. So of course I'm going to like these. And then it's got all the little information on the back. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. And last but not least, and I will let you go. Is um, these mango slices? If you remember the last tasting video I did, the gummies and then the sour gummies. This is the same. Um, oh no, it's not. 
This one, Joby. I thought it was the same um, manufacturer that had them, but I guess not. Open, please. Thank you. Mango. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That smells like mangoes. Mmm. Those are super good. And they're nice and soft too. I like those a lot. Alright, well, I've been recording for about 20 minutes. Um, I have another item that I wanted to do a tasting of, but, um, it's a big item, and it's something <clears throat> that I can do a tasting of on my own while asking trivia questions, all that. But I will give you all a sneak peek. My little snake peek. <laughs> so, excited to see those? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, excited to see my reaction with those? Then, uh, I don't know when I'll be able to make another live video, but of course, I will let you all know either here on either on Facebook or Twitter. Anyways, oh, for those interested, this is my current shirt. And at the bottom it says, do not feed after midnight. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Dad turned no monster. Also, I don't know what my bangs are doing. They're like growing out to a point where they're just like all over the place. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I um, hope you enjoyed this video. <coughs> if you missed it, I will be posting this on Facebook and then later on posting this to YouTube so you can watch either way. And even if you somehow miss it, I usually... Whenever I post a video to my personal Facebook, I go ahead and share it here on this Facebook and also on my Twitter. So, no excuses. <laughs> Anyways, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. I'm about to sneeze. I hate that. Uh, since this is, like I said, going on my YouTube, I'll do my outro. <sighs> Watch me sneeze as I'm trying to do my, finish my outro. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe, stay happy, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.